Hi, welcome to J-West Engineering. Today I'm going to do a comparison of the shift throw for the wrench shift performance shifter in a number of different configurations versus the uh, stock 915 shifter. The first thing I'm going to do is take a machinist rule and we'll set that up to measure the distance to a a datum line fixed over here on my mock-up transmission with the shifter in the rear position. So do that. Obviously I've done this initially before the, I started the camera. Uh, so I have that length set on the ruler. Then I'll move the shifter full, stick forward. And I'll measure that distance there and just count that off. So it was right at the 11 mark here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and a half. So we've got five and a half inches of movement for the stock shifter. Okay, so I've now I've swapped the Ren Shift performance shifter in to our test rig. This uh, shifter is set up currently with the longer throw reduction. It's a 20% ratio change, and this is the two inch longer stick. So this would be the, the longer throw of the configurations, the longest throw of the configurations for the wrench shift. So as I did before, I, I previously set this up when we were off camera to mark out a reference. And then I'll shift the shifter forward do the same comparison so I'll stick my thumb back behind here to mark a spot and then we'll count this off and so we've got one two three four inches right at four inches of travel for the wrench shift 20% long stick. Okay, so now I've changed out the upper stick on the wrench shift for the shorter stick. There's a comparison of the two. So two inches shorter, which comes out to the same length as the factory shifter. The so knob position in this configuration is just like the factory shifter. It comes out in the same spot. So as previously again, I've preset the machinist rule stop, reference stop. Here we are in the aft position. And then I'll shift forward to the forward gear. Here we are. Mark it at the back edge of the shift stick. So we've got half an inch there. And then one, two, three. So right around three and a half inches is the travel. 20% throw uh, ratio reduction spot, the longer ratio, and the stock length or shorter available uh, stick length. The next configuration, I have moved the internal pivot bolt and uh, bushings up to the upper hole so it's an increase in the ratio reduction or a decrease in the shift throw with the long stick so this is the the two inch longer stick combined with the increased ratio reduction so our Machinist rule on there with our reference. We'll shift forward. And rule up there. And mark it. And this one, we have one, two, three inches. Just a little over, about three and an eighth inches. Configuration I'm showing you 
is again upper hole on the pivot so it's the highest throw reduction with the short stick so the the stock length uh, upper stick for stock mount positioning our reference is set shift forward Move it on there. One, two, and a little over half an inch. Uh, it looks like right on five eighths. So that one's two and five eighths inches shift throw for the full travel of the shifter. So there you go. That is the comparison of what you can expect for actual shift throw from the Rim Shift Performance Shifter and all of its different configurations.